show. Uh, Buddy Skipper is going to be off for the next couple of days. Roger Morris is filling in. Glad to have you there, Raj. Keep the band straight, if you would. I know that's hard, but do what you can. We're back on Music Study tonight with Kirk and Chase. Glad you're watching. You know, Naomi Judd was on the show last night. And uh, one thing we want to point out, on August 27th, she is speaking in Dallas at the Vision Woman's Expo. She'll be appearing at the uh, Infomart at 1 o'clock. That's August 27th in Dallas. Look for our buddy Naomi Judd down there. Hey, you know this group that we saw earlier, West Western Flyer. Sure. Now, how do you know them so well? They, were, uh, they did a lot of background vocals on the album that I recorded. They did? Yes. I have to ask them about They were this. wonderful. We did this about a year ago. And uh -huh. uh, I knew right then that the harmonizing was wonderful. And then I found out these guys are great musicians as well. So you got a tremendous package, and they're just now making the, the scene, so to speak. Well, the album is named after the group called Western Flyer. Yeah. And right now they're going to do the song called She Should Have Been Mine. Once again, Western Flyer. <laughs> Was a home and a family, white picket fence and her yard. But I was a dreamer with great expectations, setting my sights on the stars. So she let me go. Lord, I didn't know how much I was losing back then. Now I wish I had.
Howdy guys, yeah. come on in. Make up home here. Well, I wanted to congratulate you on uh, being included with Garth Brooks and Doug Stone on Charlie Chase's album. And, and I, the Oaks. And the Oak Ridge Boys. Oh, how, how badly did Charlie mess up your harmonies, David? <laughs> well, actually, Charlie did a great job. We didn't even know going in whether he could sing or if it was going to be just a recitation Neither of that thing. And, uh, but he did a great job. It was, it was a lot of fun. I, it was the first. Hey, these guys put together some great... Well, Chris, you did a lot of the arranging Somebody, as far as yes. the vocals and things. Yeah. And uh, it's remarkable to hear them harmonize harmonize in the studio. And well, I tell you, we wanted to focus on you guys, but next time back, I want to do that song. Okay. I did. We would love okay? to. Sure. We would love to. Cool. All right. Let's All righty. Now, people want to know, where did you get the name Western Flyer? Who yeah. wants to explain that? Well, uh, basically, one night at rehearsal, we were talking about names, and we wanted to come up with something that would really convey sort of uh, mid-America, rural-type images. And uh, we were talking through toys and stuff we had when we were kids and realized that three of us had Western Flyer bikes. Hmm. Uh, Steve, our lead guitar player, was from Ohio. He had a Western Flyer sled. So we went with a name, next day called Western Auto to make sure everything would be fine with it. And stuck since then. Schwinn and Huffy just didn't work. So no, yeah. Schwinn doesn't work. You know, something else that entered my mind was Rock'em Sock'em Robots, too. Yeah. Remember that? Uh, that was, you know, yeah. We tried that. Man, like, if only we thought that. of that, that would have been a great Man, Charlie, idea. where were you when we met? Rock'em Sock'em Robots in concert. I know. Yeah. Wait a minute. we got to tell the folks a little bit about this group um, and their aspirations, okay? I mean, we, we've had all kinds of notes drummed up uh, on these guys here. Uh, Roger. Uh -oh. <laughs> I think Roger wait a minute. is teasing us. Past here. jobs. Now, is this. No, wait a minute. Roger, is it true? Roger's over there. You played at Opryland in the shows here, right? I did. And which shows were you in? Hey, I played the Christmas show two years, and I was a right. strolling musician during the summer. Okay, so. and it also says here you modeled underwear. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, can't, Where? you know, I mean. Where'd you model underwear? For Opryland. You don't believe that? No, Opryland does not have an underwear modeling show. No, they I mean, don't. Do they? they used to, but now they, they do don't. now. <laughs> <laughs> but it also, wait a minute, it also says about Roger here that he wants to be the sex symbol of the group. Yeah, he already is. He is. He is. He is? We yeah. voted. He was voted by... Well, what makes him the sex symbol of the group? The mustache. You think so? I think the people can see. It's just an overall aura that I have. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're certainly emitting, all right. Yeah, you really are. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, that's a good thing. TV's not scratch and sniff. <laughs> yeah. Don't emit on no, this Oh, this bunch. Yeah, they're, they're a great bunch of guys. Okay, who else did something weird? Uh, let's see. Bruce. Yeah. You were the Chick-fil-A Employee of the Month. I almost right. got a chance to wear the chicken suit, but I got out of that one. Yeah. What do you mean you'd wear the chicken suit? Well, the guy that hands out nuggets at Rivergate Mall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was him. It's a great way to prepare for this. What do you have it to certainly do is. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. Well, um, we're pretty normal. Don't Steve. You think? No, wait a minute. Steve has a lifetime dream. I do. <laughs> yes, this is right here. You do. I, I thought I'd attained it. No, no, no. You have a lifetime dream oh. of being on a. A certain show. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, I want to be on one of the TNN fishing shows. Yeah. What? So this isn't good enough they for you? They laugh at me. What? <laughs> no. Well, that's a hard one to answer. <laughs> they, they laugh at me, but I would love to be on a fishing show. Really? Well, we could arrange that. I mean, we have I connections figured, here at TNN. I figured someone could do that. Well, Charlie did some fishing, from what I've heard. You, you that's right. Fishing. I've done some fishing. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. All right. And uh, and TJ, TJ is about the only one here <laughs> that really. I'm, I'm proud to say this, because I worked with the Easter Seal organization, right? You worked at the camp there, right? Yeah, I worked at the Easter, Easter Seal camp for a summer. And what did you do there? As a counselor? No, I took care of handicapped kids. Yeah, isn't that wonderful? You know, that's... Well, wait, 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 let me tell you something. He, yeah. TJ is not totally upstanding. Really? I understand that you and Chris got thrown off the go-kart course. <laughs> is that right? What yes, happened? Sir. What happened to you? Well, we like to bang into each other. And that's against the rules, any track you go on. <laughs> so it doesn't take long. So we don't go there to race people. Mm -hmm. And other people there, we don't know them, so it's no fun running into them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have to say, I've been thrown off the best go-kart tracks in America. You know, now, this, it's, this, it's this a is a consistent why, thing. This is why you're out touring. This is what you do to kill some time, that's right? That's right. Yeah, yeah. The, the shows are just a way to finance our go-kart interests. <laughs> <laughs> I got well, you. Now you just got back from, from what? Visiting 150 radio stations covering 25,000 miles. How did the whole thing go? What was the response to your music? Man, it was great. We had a great time. We started in mid-May and uh, went to Chicago and then just headed west. Went through St. Louis, Kansas City, Denver, mm -hmm. and uh, 
our first big show was with, was with Chris Ledoux, so we're excited to be here tonight with him. It was very cool. Um, but went all the way to California, um, came back home, got like three days off, spent one day shooting the video, left again for 16 days. And so I think we've seen our, our wives and families maybe three or four days all summer. It's so tough it's work. Been, it really uh, is. But I say congratulations on the, uh, the release of the album. People Thank have been you. waiting on that. We wish you the best. And uh, come back and see us you know, real soon. We'll get another song from you later. Okay? Good. Good. Western Flyers here. We'll be back in a minute. Go ahead. Here's where you'll find Western Flyer on the road. Up next, Chris Ledoux joins us on Music City tonight with Crook and Chase. <laughs> Ronnie McDowell here on Music City tonight. Hey, before we go any further, I want to tell you that Ronnie McDowell and Six Shooter uh, and special guests will be appearing in concert this Saturday, Meadowbrook Park in Portland, Tennessee. Starts at 4.30. Bring your lawn chairs. Admission, five bucks. It goes to Portland's D.A.R.E. program, which is the program designed to keep kids off drugs. So, yeah, it's going to be a big deal, a big concert. Them. Now, we have the group Western Flyer. Yep. And we were talking to Roger, who said that he was, at one time, a model for underwear. Is that right? And Charlie, at Opryland? At Opryland. And Charlie and I kind of figured out that he truly was a model, but for unsuspecting guests in the bushes. <laughs> at Opryland. In the meantime... <laughs> Thank goodness they're gainfully employed now. They're back again with another cut from their album, Western Flyer, and here they are. the fact 
with Music City tonight's special guest receive a beautiful Whitnauer watch. Whitnauer, the watchmaker's watch, is the official timepiece of the Nashville Network. Once again, Lori Ann and Charlie. Okay, folks, tomorrow on the show, we will welcome Toby Keith, the legendary Hank Thompson, mm -hmm. Michael Johnson will be here, comedian Tim Wilson, also Tariva Henderson. And tonight, we thank Western Flyer. Big Morning, guys. Right, fellas. Thank you, guys. Becky Hobbs. Good work from Ronnie McDowell. Thank you, Ron. Also, our thanks to uh, Chris Ledoux for stopping by to talk mm -hmm. about his album and for Vince Gill for the right. satellite interview. You guys were great. And Roger Morris and the band over here. Right. <laughs> well, he's got the week off. Roger's in charge. Glad you were watching. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you tomorrow night right here for Music City tonight. Bye.